This is a quick tutorial on how to create uh, randomly generated questions from a question bank in Moodle. So let's uh, take an example of a class I just created here. Uh, this is my own install of Moodle. It's Moodle 2.0. And I've got a kind of a, a dummy class here called Chem. Not a class for dummies, but just one I'm not going to use. I'm going to turn editing on by clicking on my turn editing on button, obviously. And that gives me quite a few different resources and activity options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an activity. And I'm going to go down to a quiz. So I'm going to add a quiz. And it's going to bring up a few parameters about the quiz. I'm just going to call this sample. Introduction. This is a sample quiz. I'm not going to set any time limits or um, open or close dates or anything like that right now. Now, one option that people often ask about are the shuffle within questions and the adaptive mode options here. Shuffle within questions, what that's going to do is if you have a multiple choice question, let's say with four choices. So if shuffle within questions is selected as yes, what that will do is it will scramble the ABCD choices in each of the multiple choice questions uh, every time that particular question is generated. Now adaptive mode, if you select this as yes, then um, students will have the opportunity to uh, receive immediate feedback on that question and go back and change it for a particular uh, penalty or not. I'm going to select that to no, just as a um, students will take the, que the question one time and that's it. Uh, this other stuff we're not going to worry about, blah, 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 blah. We'll go down to the bottom, click Save and Display. So that will display the test creating choices within this test. All right. So we need to add some questions from our test bank. Now we don't see our questions here, so I'm going to go over here to the side where it says question bank contents. We're going to click show. And here we go. So what I did is I imported all of my questions from the Woodland Park High School um, Moodle site and uh, all of them for my unit one exam. So these are all the, the questions for unit one, which is introduction to chemistry that I have created. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to add a question and I'm not going to add a random question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here down below my list of questions and I'm going to select some questions to add. Now, what I'm going to do is question number one, I want to come from objective number one. So I'm just going to bring up my questions for objective one. So that would be 1.1 here. So this is my first objective. Notice I have four different questions there. So what I would like Moodle to do is I want it to add one of these four questions from 1.1 to the quiz at random for each student. So down here at the bottom it says add random questions from category. I want it to add one random question from that category. So I click add to quiz. And what it does is it's going to generate a random question from this category out of these four questions in that category. Okay, so for question number two, I want question number two to come from objective number two. So that'll be 1.2 and I'll put se uh, selection B here, element or compound, and I want it to add one of the random ones down here to the quiz. So click on add to quiz and it'll generate a random one for each student out of those four questions. So if you went back and looked at those questions, they would be pretty similar. Is this an element or a compound type of question? I believe those are like a, a drop down menu matching type thing. But there's four different ones and each student will have a randomly generated question from one of those four for that particular question. Okay, and so on. So I'll go down here to, um, let's say, dimensional analysis for maybe, you know, on question eight. Give it a chance to refresh here. So question eight has two, two choices. I want one of those two added randomly. So I click on add to quiz from random questions here, and it will 
generate a random choice of one of those two questions for each student. In addition, this is a calculated question, so any of my numerical values in that question will also be generated randomly. So there's really hundreds of permutations of that particular uh, choice that each student could possibly get on question eight. So I hope that clears it up. So first you need to create a quiz. Then you go over underneath the, the questions, select the category you want it to come from, and then click this Add to Quiz button. And then once you're done, you just um, uh, save it, and uh, you can post that for your students to take. Enjoy.